Pilates mat flow. I'm gonna make this one a flexion free as best I can um, to protect anyone that has any herniated disc, osteoporosis, um, fusions in their spine, even cervical stuff. So we're gonna do um, as much of the original like order of exercises without adding flexion. You're more than welcome to add the flexion, but I challenge you today to try it without flexing the spine. We can still extend, which is safe for those things, um, but we're gonna see if we can keep that in a flexion-free version. So again, I'm Kara. Thanks for joining me today. And we're gonna do a mat flow in as much of a flexion-free version as we can today. So if you're joining me, we're gonna stand at the end of the mat and we're just gonna take a big breath up and let it out. I want three more breaths. Big breath up and let it out. Big breath up and let it out. Last one, big breath up and then I want you to hinge at your hips. Pull forward, you can put your hands on your thighs if you need to. And then we're going to go down to the mat. So we're gonna come down to the mat on all fours. From here, we're gonna breathe again. So I just want you to feel, fill the lungs with air and feel your abdominals lift up away from the floor. And then relax it. And breathe deep. And pull your abs in. One more time like that. Now we are gonna do a little lateral flexion, not spinal flexion. So you can have an ever so slight tilt of that tailbone to lengthen that low back and get it nice and long. And then I just want you to give me a little wag side to side with your tailbone. Just kind of mobilizing the side of the hip and spine a little bit. Breathe in. And then we're gonna come to seated. And we're gonna do a little hinge back here. So I want you to put your hands on the back of your thighs. And then we're just gonna sit tall and then lean back from the hip joint. Pull the abs in, keep your spine nice and neutral, shoulders down, and then sit back up, okay? So we're gonna hold the back of the thighs for a little bit of safety there. Sitting up tall as we inhale, exhale, lean back, hinge back, and then can you let go of your legs? And then sit back up. Okay, you can stay holding onto your thighs if you need to. We're gonna pull the abs in and lean back, fully in with the abs. Your hip flexors are gonna kick in a little bit, but try to make it mostly abdominals. And sit back up. So pull abs in, hinge back, hinge back, hinge back, hinge back and sit back up. All right, we're gonna add a little um, rotation. So we're gonna hinge back to that same spot and then turn to one side, come back to center. Turn to the other side, come back to center and sit back up. You wanna make a little more challenge, playing with levers, physics of exercise, biomechanics. Sitting tall, you can hinge back with your hands behind your head. Oh, you just got heavier. <laughs> Sit back up, okay? Nice and tall, big inhale. Inhale, hinge, lean back, pull your abs in, don't let those ribs to hips flare, pull it down, and sit back up. So ways to play with that. All right, I'm gonna come down to my mat. I'm gonna lay all the way flat on my back. And I am gonna do a little imprint release. So I'm not flexing the lumbar spine very much, but I am gonna use my abdominals to tilt my pelvis into that imprint and then lengthen. So ribs to hips, I'm gonna reach my arms up so you can maybe see me if you're watching. Pull the belly in. I'm not trying to flatten my back, I'm trying to activate abdominals, a little bit of, this, of the hamstrings and glutes to pelvic tilt and bring it back. When we have our legs in the air in a little while, it is always okay to come into a little bit of that imprint to kind of pre-engage the abs, if you will, all right? So we are going to come up into a bridge. So we're gonna tighten those abs. We're gonna press down into the mat. And then in one piece, we're gonna lift up into a bridge. 
and then lower right back down. Just kind of warming up the joints and muscles a little bit. Tighten the abs, press into the mat, lift up, knees go long, over toes. And then lower back down. Tighten core, abs and back muscles, cinching it all in, pressing in, and hinging up. And back down. One more time. Press down, tighten the core, and lift like a drawbridge in one piece. Reach and hold, tighten the buttocks. <laughs> and lower back down. All right, we're gonna do a little hip release. So from here, I want you to drop that right knee out to the side, slide your leg long, and then pull it back in. So back and pelvis stay still. We're gonna mobilize that hip. Two more times that direction. So knee drops out, foot slides long, back to a parallel to pull it back in. So externally rotate, laterally rotate the hip, reach the leg long, back to a neutral, parallel position and bring it back up. Out, reach, parallel, and in. Now we're gonna reverse that. So we're gonna reach that leg long, turn it out to drag it in and back up, holding that other side still. Reach it long, turn it out, pull it up and in. Reach it out, turn it out, pull it in and back up. So again, reset, tighten those abs, Find that you don't lose that connection. Hip bones to rib bones should stay in that same plane or feel the hand on the uh, top of the hip and fingertips on the cubic bone and try to keep that nice and level and abs connected. So left leg, drop it out, reach it long, kneecap back to the sky, pull it in. Turn it out, reach it long, parallel, pull it in. Drop it out, reach it long, parallel, Pull it in. One more that direction. Drop it out, reach it long, and bring it in, okay? We're gonna reverse that. So now I'm gonna reach the leg long, turn it out, and then draw the foot in the midline and the knee back up. Straighten the leg out, drop it out, pull it in, and up. Again, just some little hip releases here, but using the abdominals. So you should still feel a connection and an engagement. Last one of those, and bring it in. All right, so our goal here is neutral in that spine. Some of you may have a little space under your low back. That's okay, it needs to stay the same. Or go into the imprint if you need to. So we're gonna find tabletop. One leg up, put it back down. So little knee folds we would call them. We're gonna lift and lower. Use those deep abdominal layers, that deepest layer of the abs, like your internal corset, to hold you still as you breathe. One more. Now we're gonna bring both legs up to the tabletop. So I'm gonna bring one leg up, get set in those abdominals, pull the other leg up. Now, from here, we're gonna do a hip extension or lower one side down to touch the ground and bring it up. So it's called toe tap, but I want you to move from the hip. My knee angle isn't changing. And I'm cinching those abdominals in. You should feel your abdominals working already, even though we're keeping this so far on the warm up nicer side. And then both feet come back down. All right, so from here, we're gonna do our hundreds. Head and shoulders are gonna stay down. You can keep your feet down and keep this really basic if you need to. I'm gonna bring my legs to tabletop. I'm gonna find that nice connection that we just had in as neutral as I can. Arms reach long, I'm gonna keep head and shoulders down Zip your inner thighs together, even if your legs aren't touching. Feel the connection. Now pump your arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, ten. In, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. I want you to keep pumping those arms vigorously with long, strong, straight arms. Don't turn into noodle arms or hummingbird arms. <laughs> Reaching long with control. Fill your lungs with air. Let it all out. Breathe in. Exhale, draw those abs in a little bit more. Inhale into those posterior lateral lungs. Exhale out all the air. Breathe in and out. You know when I start talking, I forget to count. <laughs> Hard to do both. One more great breath in. And lower your legs back down. All right. From here, we're gonna go 
right into our um, one leg circle. So you can keep one knee bent, the other leg's gonna come up to tabletop and then point it through the sky. I want this leg in the air straight. This leg can go long if you can stabilize your pelvis. We're gonna take that leg across the body, around and up. I want you to start with little circles and then make them a little bigger and a little bigger and a little bigger and a little bigger and pause. Now start big and go to small, like a little spiral. Circling, breathing, stabilizing back and pelvis. Little tiny circle, bend your knee, find the mat. Slide your other leg up to the tabletop, straighten it up. This leg can stay bent or you can take it long if you can keep from rocking side to side. So pressing hands into the mat, we're gonna to start towards the midline and make our little circle and get a little bigger. Stay within the side of the circle, even as we make a spiral, making it bigger, that you can stabilize that back and pelvis. Pull those abdominals in. One more circle, pause when you get to the top, and then we reverse it. Start big. And each circle gets a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller, like you're tracing a circle inside of your previous circle. Smaller still, little tiny circles. And then bend that knee and find the floor. All right, so from here, we're gonna do our series of, um, series of five abs, but we're gonna stay down, all right? So bring your legs to tabletop one at a time, exhale, and exhale, get connected, long spine. So to add a little challenge, if you want a little more, since we're not lifting head and chest, you can pull your knee into your hand and push your hand into your knee, but you're not going anywhere. Reach the left leg long, squeeze that buttock, pull that knee in of the bent leg. Inhale to switch, exhale to reach and pull. Inhale, exhale, slow. Exhale as you pull it in. Exhale as you resist. Feel those abdominals. <sighs> Breathing in as you start to pass. One more with the right leg in. Find the glute of the left reaching. I lied, I did too. <laughs> Bring it in, hug your knees in. All right, so that was single leg stretch. Double leg stretch, the arms are gonna reach overhead, the legs are gonna go out long. I'm staying down. I want you to try it that way too today. It just makes it a little bit different and it's safe for all our people that might have spinal issues. So hands are gonna go on the side of my shin, closer to my knee than my ankles because I'm not lifting up, right? So zip up that belly, neutral if you can, slight imprint if you need it nicer. Reach your hands toward your ears and your legs long. Exhale, scoop it back in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, scoop. Now let's try circling the arms. Inhale, reach. Circle arms back around. Inhale, reach. Exhale, scoop. Inhale, reach. Exhale, scoop. Play with where your legs are in space as they go long. The lower, the more challenge, but don't lose your neutral. Inhale, reach. Exhale, scoop. Two more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, scoop. Last time, reach, scoop and hug your knees in for a second, okay? So our single straight leg stretch, also known as scissors, is next. We're gonna take both legs up to the sky. I'm gonna press my hand down into the mat. So again, you can find that imprint or neutral. Find your core, pull those abs in strong, and then take one leg away. Feel the reaching sensation. Inhale as they pass, exhale to reach. We're gonna add a little pulse. So as you reach, you reach a little more and and reach and reach try to keep those legs straight maybe your scissors a little smaller reach 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 and then hug it in okay so double leg lowers so we're gonna lift both legs up arms come down Zip it up, now rotate to your little Pilates stance. I want you to feel those thigh bones, those femurs, rotate in that hip socket. Sink deep into that belly, and then lower your legs a little bit, and then pull it up. 
keeping ribs to hips the same, pulling your abs in, lower and lift. It can just be four to six inches. It doesn't need to be far. Quads are active on the front of the thigh to keep those legs straight. And then you use the seat to lower. Three more. Two more. Pull those abs in and then hug it in. All right, so for crisscross, again, we're not flexing up, but we're gonna rotate. So, tabletop leg. I'm gonna take my arms out to a T, okay? And then I'm going to take my left hand and I'm just gonna rotate to the side. So my right arm's pushing down into the ground and I'm gonna stay there. And from here, I'm gonna do five reaches. My lumbar spine is neutral, both legs in. I'm gonna find that T again. I'm gonna bring my right hand towards my ear or behind my head. And I'm just gonna lift that shoulder blade off the mat. The lumbar spine stays neutral and then I reach. Trying to find the obliques on the side of the waist. And then bring it in. All right. So I'm gonna roll to our side to get up because that's our safe way to get up when we have that um, spine stuff. All right, so we're gonna go into just a little balance position here. So I want you to find the back edge of those fist bones. So hold the back of your thighs, knees are bent, and you're gonna lean back a little bit. So we're not rounding back, just a slight imprint of the pelvis. And then can you just lift and balance your legs in the air? Push your hands and thighs together. Pull your belly away from your shirt. And then put it back down. So it's kind of our rolling like a ball, but it's the rolling like a ball balance. So again, pull the belly, find the back edges, hip bones, pull the belly in, shoulders down. There's a little imprint, but the lumbar is not doing much. And then can you bring your legs in the air? Or just one. But push your thighs into your hands and pull your hands into your thighs. Pull your belly in and just see if you can stay there for a second. Active in the arms and the scapula. And then set it back down. All right. So from here, we're going to come um, to a, oops, sorry, spine stretch. So our spine stretch forward, we're not going to flex. We're going to stretch in a hinge. So reach your hands out in front of you. Sit tall. Sometimes I do a little rock cheek to cheek to get on those sit bones and off of my gluteal tissue. Sitting tall, shoulders down. Now just hinge at your hip and then bring it back up. I still want you to find all those scapular muscles, right? So reach your fingers toward your toes, hinging at your hip, pulling your belly button in and then sit back up. Sit tall and then reach. Pull your toes toward your nose and sit back up tall. Two more of those. Reach and bring it back up. And reach, abs in, hinge at those hips. Hamstring stretch too, right? Yeah. Okay, we are gonna do a variation of saw here. So we're gonna rotate and hinge. So reach your arms out long to the side, shoulders down, feel those shoulder blades flat on your back. I'm gonna twist to my left, and then I'm gonna reach forward. My hand's coming more between my legs because I'm not flexing. Come back to center. Rotate and then hinge and reach. Come back up. Sit tall. Bend your knees if you can't sit tall without slumping into your back, right? So we rotate and we hinge and reach. And come back up. Rotate. Hinge and reach. And come back up. One more time each side. Rotate. Shoulders and hands stay in line. And then we reach. The other way. Sit tall and reach and then bring it back in. Okay, from here, four point kneel. So back to that quadruped crawling position, abs drawing up, shoulders down, knees right under hips and hands right under shoulders. If you have sensitive wrist, this one could be done on your fist to make it a more neutral wrist, okay? So from here, I just want you to open your sternum heart a little and look up slightly towards the end of your mat. Not all the way up in front of you, just the end of your mat. So 
you got a little extension in that thoracic spine. Keep those shoulder blades set, and then from here, can you take one leg out long, hips level. Now, tap the mat and lift. You can go down to forearms as well if you need to. Keep the belly drawing away from your shirt or towards your spine. Pull this one up. Now, we're gonna tick tock. Leg out to the side and back. Keep your hips still, your core tight, your shoulders strong, and just open and close that leg. Reach it long, long, long from the seat. Find your booty. Shoulders down. Now, circle the leg, small. Small. <laughs> Pause, go the other way. Abdomen. Three. going to rotate to face you guys. I want my back, hips, and shoulders lined up with the back of my mat. You can make a little pillow for your arm. You can prop your head as long as you don't go into your neck. Um, and then we're going to bring our legs together whoop, slightly forward. So there's a little hinge of the hip joint. My spine is straight. You kind of ran a banana shape, but spine is long, so no flexion there. Okay? So zip up the belly and I want you to feel like you could lift the bottom rib off of the mat or the waist between the hips and ribs. I'm going to keep the top hand here for a little kickstand to give me, keep me honest. If I roll away from my arm or into my arm, I know I'm rocking and rolling my hips. So I just want that to be a little tactile cue. So I'm going to start with lifting the leg up to hip height. We're going to do a side kick. We're going to kick the leg forward with the flexed, point the toe to pull it back behind me. Now we're gonna add a pull. So we're gonna go kick, kick, pull it back. So kick, kick, pull it back. 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 Two more. Kick, kick, pull it back. Kick, kick, pull it back. Now hold it back. The hip should be extended. The glute is firing, the lateral hip is firing. And then from here, I just want you to lower and lift small. 
working those lateral hips again, but keeping that front of the hip open, those abs drawing in, and breathe for four, three, two, one. Now, we're gonna bring it and make a circle. So we're gonna bring it forward. Hip mobility, back and pelvis stability. And then pause your circle, go the other way. Long through that leg. How long can you make that side of the waist? Reach the leg as long as you can. Two more. And one more and bring it down. All right, we're gonna rotate out with both hips just a little bit. So there's about a fist distance between my big toes and I wrapped that top, those thighs into the pelvis. Gonna stay strong and now I'm gonna lift and lower here. You might go a little higher because you're rotated out, but I don't want your spine angle to change. I want you to cinch that waist in and lift and lower for four, three, two, and one. All right, now we're gonna rotate um, in. So that leg is gonna go down a little bit. So my knee and toe are pointing towards the mat. My hips are still stacked, my abs are still active. And then I'm just gonna lift, think heel to the sky. Heel to the sky. Breathe. Four, three, two, and one. Ooh, bring that leg forward so it's at a 90 degree bend hip and knee in front of you but keep your pelvis stacked so your body wanted to roll forward pull it back stacked and then we're going to lift the bottom leg lift the bottom leg inner thigh lift inner thigh lift straight up and down try to keep those abs drawing in don't forget about them <laughs> i keep reminding you so you shouldn't <laughs> four three two and one nice i would like you to go to your belly please stack your hands um, on top of each other and we're gonna make a little pillow for your forehead we're gonna do little heel beats so it's like dorothy trying to get home from oz and her ruby red slippers stack your hands forehead down zip up your belly push your pubic bow down turn out lift your feet just a few inches off of the mat and then i want you to click your heels together Click your heels together for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause, lower it down. We're gonna do a second set of those. So zip up your belly, push your pubic bone down, shoulders are connected on your back. Lift your feet a couple inches. Squeeze your heels together. Squeeze your heels together. Find your inner thighs for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest it down. Hands by your shoulders. Press up to a quadruped and back to a shell rest position. Okay, we got to do the other side. So we're gonna lay on our other side. You can roll over unless you're watching and then you need to flip over. So we're gonna line that back and spine. So my hips and shoulders are on the back edge of my mat. And then I'm gonna bring my feet towards the front edge of my mat with a little hip hinge. And then we wanna draw the belly in and up. So you wanna imagine you could put a hand under the side of your waist. You can see a little piece of sunshine. Of course it's cloudy today, <laughs> but anyway, it's a little daylight. You may not actually leave there, but I want you the feeling of cinching and drawing in. So those abs are active. Top hand that kickstand to keep you honest of where you're rocking and rolling. We start with the side kick. So lift that leg up in line with your hip, zip up that core, and then we kick forward with the flex foot, we pull back with a pointed toe. Now we add the pulse. So we go kick, kick, pull, kick, kick, pull, kick, kick, pull, kick, kick, pull. Keep doing that for four, breathe. Two more, kick, kick, pull, kick, kick, pull, hold it, ready? We're gonna keep it back behind, right? So we're gonna keep extended in that hip so that butt muscle is firing. Your patootie, lower and lift. So the side hips are working, the glutes are working, and we're just lifting and lowering small, but staying slightly extended or open in the front of that hip. Feel those thighs? I do, they're burning a little bit. <laughs> we're gonna get really good at Matt Pilates. And this is a nice spine 
safe version today. It still works your core, right? Hold it up there. Now bring it in line with your body so instead of behind you and give me circles. Circles. Don't go too big. Keep those hips and pelvis still, those abs drawing in. Pause, reverse your circle. Reverse your circle. Breathe. And then bring it down. So now we're gonna do the um, laterally rotated version. So we're gonna rotate out. So my toes are just about a fist distance apart. Sorry, I just had a spider dropped a cobweb on me. <laughs> the outside thing, right? Wrap those thighs, squeeze those glutes, and then we're gonna lift and lower here. Again, find the range height-wise that works for you. It's bigger than when we're in parallel because the way the hip is shaped. But I don't want you to rock and roll forward or lose those abdominals. You can always check by putting your hand on your abs. Can you feel them connecting? Sometimes just digging in a little bit right by the hip bone is where we feel them the best. Long spine, two, and bring it down. Now, rotate down a little bit. So the knee and toe point down and then lift your heel. Keep those abs in, hips and shoulders stacked. Breathe. We have five, four, three, two, one, and bring it down. All right, so from here, I want you to go to your back. So lay on your back. <laughs> I'm on an upslope on this angle. All right, we're gonna do corkscrew legs. So I want you to get that nice neutral spine again, or a little imprint if you need that support. Bring your legs to tabletop. So I'm gonna start with like a knee stir to get you to understand the movement. So we're gonna take, like we're stirring the witch's cauldron pot, right? We're gonna take the knees to the left, towards us, and away. That little circular movement from the hips, abs stay tight. Now reverse it, the other circle direction, okay? So this is working your core for stability as you mobilize those hips again, okay? So you can repeat that if this feels too challenging for you, again, no change in our spinal shape. Pull your belly in, and then we're gonna take the legs to the left, down towards the mat, up to the right, and pause at the sky. And then we U-turn, we go to the right, we go down, and we bring it up. Don't rush this, y'all. Make it muscles, not momentum. Breathe. U-turning each time. So as I do that, there's a slight shift, like my big toe comes just below my other big toe, and then they switch as they go up. So there's not a big movement, but just a little slide as one leg feels longer than the other. We're gonna go one more time in each direction. I started left, and then I go right, and bring it up, and then hug your knees in. All right, we're gonna roll back to our side and to a four point meal. So I'm gonna take us into our, um, we're gonna do a uh, plank. So I'm gonna do it on forearms today because I know we got some sensitive wrist people out there. We're gonna slide our shoulders down, take one leg and then the other leg out long. I want you to squeeze your buttock, pull your belly in, thighs are active, shoulders are long, keep your eye gaze towards the, um, like your fist or the end of your mat. Now. From here, just keep reaching, keep pulling your belly in. Feel all the muscles in your legs active. Feel those shoulder blade muscles protracting a little bit, pushing away from that mat. Rest your knees down. If you need this nicer still, you can stay on your knees, but you need to be on the top of your thighs so you can get a nice straight line, okay? We're gonna do a little um, scapular push up from our forearms, okay? So find that same plank for me again. Nice long line. And then I want you to drop your chest lift your chest. Basically, the only thing moving is our shoulder blades. Down and up, four, just little, three. Feel those arm hip muscles, two, and the belly, and the legs. <laughs> One, knees down. All right, we're gonna go to a side plank. The nicer version is legs in line with each other, bottom knee bent with your foot behind you, and that bottom leg stays down. We're gonna get strong in the shoulder first. So you wanna feel that shoulder rotate down and on your back. 
this armpit muscle lat should already be active. And then I'm gonna zip my inner thighs together and lift my side of the waist up. Just nice strong line. And hold. And then bring it back down. You can stay there or we can straighten both legs out for a little bit more challenge. Again, first thing to set is shoulders down, armpit active, inner thighs connect. Use your top hand as a kickstand if you need it or for more support, but try not to rotate. Pelvis and shoulders square. Head in line the best you can. Pull up into those waist muscles. Reach long, inner thighs connect. Breathe. Can we hold it for five, four, three, two, rest it down. Nice. All right, we're gonna switch to the other side. So other forearm on the mat, get that shoulder set. So you wanna make sure the shoulder and ear are away from each other, that armpit muscle is active. I'm gonna do the first one on my knee. So we're gonna zip up the waist, cinch it up, lift it up. Inner thighs are still pulling towards each other, whether they're touching or not. Pushing your top foot into the mat, that gets that inner thigh. And then you're just gonna hold, breathe, shoulder down. Four, three, two, rest. Okay, the second one I'm gonna straighten both legs. You can keep the bottom leg bent. We're gonna zip up inner thighs. Again, find that shoulder connected, that armpit active. The whole side of the waist is pulling up away from the floor. And we're reaching long, inner thighs connect. Shoulder blades down, pushing away from that floor. Breathe. Breathe. And then bring it down. All right, very good. Swimming. So now we're gonna come back to our belly, face down. And then if your shoulders will let you reach arms overhead and legs long, we're gonna stay parallel, but a little bit apart. So I want you to lift both arms. Well, here's a, here's a more basic version. We're gonna lift one arm and one leg and then the other arm and other leg. So you can go there if that works better for your body. Otherwise, I want you to lift both arms and legs up just a couple inches, push pubic bone down, pull belly button in, and just hold that like Superman flying. And you gotta look at the ground because you don't know where you're going. You're flying above the earth. And then bring it back. All right, we're gonna do that again. Pubic bone down, belly button in, reach it long, Superman flying. Now you hit some turbulence. Alternate arm and leg swimming, flutter, flutter. Shield and shoulder blades sink down on your back. Back extensors working, belly, booty, brain. Breathe, four, three, two, one, and bring it in. Push up to your quadruped and then hinge your hips to sit back. Stretch your shoulders. Stretch your hips a little bit. And then bring yourself back to seated. We're gonna take both legs out long in front of us, sitting on those sits bones. You can bend your knees a little bit or you can sit cross-legged. I'm gonna do a mermaid side bend with my legs out in front of me today instead of in the Z-sit. So I'm gonna take my hands out to the side, shoulders go down. My left hand is gonna find the floor by my hip and then I'm gonna reach over laterally flexing that spine, stretching that top side. And then I'm gonna come back to my T. I'm gonna pull shoulders down. Right hand comes to the ground to push. Keep both hips down as I flex over. My top hand makes a little water spout. Bring it up. And then we tip over to the first side. Stretching that side, push that opposite hip of the way you're flexing down into your mat. Come back up. One more time this way, push it down, reach up and over. Breathe, bring it up to the T. All right, so from here, you guys, we're gonna come up to standing. I'm gonna stand at the end of my mat, just like we started. So reach your hands to the sky, take a big inhale. Now, as we take our arms to the side, we're gonna forward fold, so hinge at your hips. So arms to the side and hinge. Pull your belly in, try to get a nice flat, straight spine and then put your hands on your thighs or your shins or find the floor. Now we're gonna walk out three or four steps depending on where you started and find a little plank. 
Hold, just start a little plank. Tighten the belly, strong shoulders, breathe. And then walk your hands back, hinging at your hips. Hands to your shins, hands to your thighs. Stand up. Two more times like that. Reach up, big inhale, opening your sternum, opening your heart. Hands to a T. Forward fold, hinge. Hands to the mat, whether you need to walk down your legs or not, and then walk out. Three or four hand steps, depending on where you started, right? Long spine. Hold for 10. Shoulders down. You can put your knees down if you need to. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands back, hinge. Booty to the sky. Walk up your thigh. Accidental rhyme. Reach it up. Last time. Forward fold. Flat back. Fold over, find the mat, walk out, last time, find that plank position, push your heels away from you, head reaches long, shoulders down, abs in, quads active, glutes active, belly in, breathe, every muscle in your body should be feeling like it's working, for five, four, three, two, walk back, booty to the sky, hiking it up, hands on your legs, walk back up, Stand up tall, take one more big inhale, reach up to the clouds, open your heart, bring it down, hands behind you, interlace your fingers, press them down and away, looking up a little bit to the sky or your ceiling. And you guys, that's my um, mat flow, and it was a flexion-free um, one today, so it was safe for everybody's spines, whether you have any lurking herniated discs, spinal fusions, osteoporosis, um, or any of those things going on. And you should have still felt your abdominals working a lot. Thanks for joining me. I hope you all have a great rest of your day.